round it over the the edges here so when you're playing you're not your your forearms not being cut right here and went all the way around to do that i put a a a, a wash coat of shellac on the guitar on the back and the sides and now we're going to find the placement for the bridge this is all the work that we've done if this is not placed exactly right your guitar will never stay in tune the intonation will be off it'll be a mess so this is critical and i've talked at length before about the importance of the center line the center line of the body the center line of the of the sides the center line of the back the center line of the neck and the fretboard and all of that is vitally important but here we're going to do something a little different to to make sure the bridge is aligned with the with the fretboard we're going to Forget about the center line of the top. It's possible that this may have shifted just a little bit. It's possible that this neck is not dead square down the center line. So what I'm gonna do, I place some tape here. I'm gonna take a straight edge. I'm gonna place it against the neck. Then I'll draw a line down here Come over here, do the same thing. Place this against the neck. Flush with the neck. Come down, draw my line. Then I will take a center finder ruler. It's a ruler that you use to find the center. I will use this and I will mark the center line and that'll be the first step in setting the bridge in the proper location. So now I'm going to, I'm going to find exactly the placement of the bridge. And I'm real fortunate. I talked about there is a chance things could have shifted the center line from here to the center line we de de determined down here is exactly on the center line of the guitar. So that worked out really good. I must have been living right when I did that. So now, remember that the, the saddle sits at an angle and the, uh, the scale of this guitar is 645.16 millimeters. That means from the nut to the saddle here is 645.16 millimeters but this saddle is at an angle. So, and we're also gonna move it up two millimeters to, uh, for compensation. And I don't know enough about compensation to explain it. I just know that, that it's built into every guitar. You can always Google it and, and, and learn more. I understand the basic concepts, but not enough to try and describe it here or explain it here. But what I do know is that I'm on my center line and on the high E from down here at the nut, I've traveled up the neck, the path that the high E string will travel. And I need to be at 647.16 millimeters. At the, at the front edge, this side of the saddle slot. Then I will turn around, do the same thing on the low E side and measure that to 649.16. And, and the reason there's two millimeters difference there is there's two millimeter difference from the front of the saddle, I'm sorry, the front of the bridge to the saddle. So if I do that, do it all right, that should be square. Then I'll come down the center line with the square and make sure that I'm square. And then I'll tape everything off. So let's, so I'll place some blue tape down found the, the exact location of the bridge, and then I outlined it. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take a, a razor and I'm gonna cut just to the inside of these lines. So I'm gonna cut, and then I will peel away the outside of the tape, leaving the footprint here. And the reason for that is when you put the finish on, you're gonna need, a, a solid uh, wood surface uh, to do your glue up. Glue will not stick to the, um, 
the shellac. So you keep this taped off and then you do all your finishing. And then when your finishing is completely done, I will then come in here and peel this piece off and glue the bridge down. So I used a real sharp, brand new razor blade. You can see it's peeling off very nice right along the, the cut line. And I didn't mention this earlier, but the reason you cut inside the line is so when the bridge is placed here, the finish will go up under just a, just a tiny, tiny little bit underneath there, and you won't see any of the wood exposed. Thanks for watching my videos. If you've enjoyed them, if you've learned anything or if you just want to keep up with the progress, then hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it.